Welcome to my next Stamps in the Mail Club project for September. We are going to make a um, card with a thinlet circle card die. And these are for the big shot. So if your Stamps in the Mail Club kit, they'll come pre-cut. Uh, but here are the pieces that you'll see. Um, the card frame here is cut from the card frame on the thinlet. See how that works? And this is going to make a flip-flop card. So the first thing to do is go ahead and fold this in half so that your card base is folded. And then just take the front part and flip it backwards so that you have sort of a standard quarter sheet size card. See how that works? It's very simple. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my piece of Tangerine Tango cardstock. That's a pre-punched circle here. Uh, and stick that down. Now, um, in the uh, Framelits kit, there's a scallop circle and then there's this little thanks, see? THX thanks words. And so those are pre-cut for you from a piece of paper in the um, Sweater Weather paper series. And you can stick this on your card, but really it looks so much cooler. See how much more it pops out if you do a contrast color behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive here on the back of my paper. Um, and then I think the easiest way to get this lined up is to go ahead and stick it on this direction so that you can see that your um, Daffodil Delight cardstock isn't poking out all over the place on the back. Okay. And then before you stick this down, go ahead and grab a piece of the twine from the Thanksgiving tablescape, thankful tablescape kit. And I am going to go ahead and wrap this around. Let me show you a trick for doing this. Um, I'm just going to use a Stampin' Dimensional to anchor the thread on the back for my first um, my first piece across here. So I'm going to wrap it across here and then move it. Oh, let's see. We'll do it up there. And then I'm going to wrap it around the next scallop and then I'm going to wrap it around the next scallop. See how that works? So it kind of gives you a little pattern. So if you follow each of the angles that works out nicely. And then I'm going to hold that across the back and just put another dimensional on to anchor that down at the end and just trim that. So you don't even have to worry about tying it or keeping it tight or anything. That's a um, neat trick that you can use with any any kind of string. Just anchor your ends with um, Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. And then this gets centered here on the front of our card. Okay. So we have our flip-flop card started. Now I think it needs some more decoration, so I've cut a short piece um, about two, just a little over two inches from the birch paper that comes with the um, Thankful Tablescape kit. And I'm going to use my um, green lid glue, also known as multi-purpose adhesive. Uh, but I love this liquid glue for um, bonding things down. It's so quick to add. Um, and it's strong like sticky strip but quicker to apply so I'm gonna layer this here on the back and you can make sure that piece doesn't overlap your circle here because you want it to stay um, out of the way from your functioning card and then I have a piece of the herringbone paper um, cut from the roll that's also included in the kit and this is gonna um, come across the front of our card to sort of give us a um, horizontal element so I'm gonna cut a ribbon end. So I'll give myself a center point and then cut up to meet it there and cut up to meet it there. And now when you attach this, make sure you attach only um, one side. If you attach it over here, then all of a sudden ee -ee, your card doesn't open anymore. So I'm going to use the green lid glue again just because it gives me a nice strong bond. And this part of your card is sort of susceptible to uh, moving injuries I guess. And then we need one more embellishment for the front here so I'm going to grab one of the leaves from the um, die cut leaves in the Thanks Thankful Tablescape kit and then add a Stampin' Dimensional to the back of it and go ahead and adhere it here on the front of our card. So here is the um, circle card thinlet card from the Stamps in the Mail kit from my Stamps in the Mail kit for September. So there you go. And if you've never seen one of these circle card, uh, flip flop cards in action, I highly recommend these um, new dies from Stampin' Up! The New Thinlets. They make them so snappy to put together. So 
check out my blog for more information on those too.